And then we got this. Uh, Sports Kita, Pro Football, tweeted out, There have been discussions around the league among certain owners about a separate salary cap for just quarterbacks with the growing contracts. Let me also say that I find this to be, and I don't know all the details, a terrible decision. I can't imagine why anybody would want to do it. To me, this is, there are like five teams that want this, and nobody else wants it. This is stupid, and it makes absolutely no sense. And from what I understand as of right now, there is really no support for this around the NFL. The, the NFL Players Union is not a fan of it. There's concerns about whether or not that would lead to a separate union for quarterbacks, which would then fragment out to separate players' unions for different individual players. Uh, positions and all that stuff let, let me just lay out the most obvious reason why this is stupid this is going to make it impossible for teams that don't have a quarterback to compete plain and simple it's already impossible for teams that don't have a quarterback to compete the best teams in the nfl are the teams that have quarterbacks pretty much unanimously with very few exceptions if you have a separate salary cap for quarterbacks that means that everybody has a separate salary cap for the rest of their roster. Meaning the Chiefs paying Pat Mahomes and the Jaguars paying Trevor Lawrence and the Packers paying uh, Jordan Love. And don't get me wrong, I'm rooting for this once we pay Jordan Love because it means we're going to dominate everybody. They're not going to have a chance. We all have the same salary cap to build the rest of the roster. Listen, the only way teams that suck can compete is the fact that they're not being weighed down by this ridiculous contract now if it ever got to the point where teams with elite quarterbacks can't compete where the chiefs are just completely ruined because they can't field a football team then you're gonna have to talk about something like that at least to some degree maybe there's like a baseline minimum of of uh cap or or even kind of like you know have the, the the top 53 or the top 51 or whatever you, you could say there's a portion that doesn't count on the salary cap or something i don't know 20 million gets knocked off of there um but the but but as of right now that's not the case the teams with all the quarterbacks are the teams that's winning now you're saying that the chiefs are going to have the exact same budget to build their team as the uh who doesn't have a quarterback right now the 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 pfft, the Vikings, I guess. The Vikings who really don't have a quarterback. So th that's not even a benefit anymore. Like, yeah, but at least we're not paying anybody so we could do this. And, da -da -da -da. and if, you know, if uh, 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 Darnold takes off or, or having a rookie quarterback or whatever, that's a big bet. It's not a benefit anymore. Because you don't have extra money. You have the same amount of money as everybody. That's stupid. That's dumb. It's ridiculous. Again, it... It's the only way that other teams can be competitive. It's a massive handicap to the teams that have the best quarterbacks. And again, I understand if you're the NFL and you're saying, I want to make sure that the teams with the best quarterbacks are the winners. I want the Chiefs to be winning. I want the Bills to be winning. I want the Packers to be winning. Okay, fine. They are. You don't need to make it even easier on them by saying you get a separate salary cap the, the other issue and i don't know how this would work but it seems to me that what you would have to do because there's not just going to be extra money they're not going to say let's just on top of that let's just give them an extra i don't know 50 million dollars for quarterbacks or 55 60 whatever per year however much it, it's going to end up being they're, they're not just going to give extra money to each team which means they're going to cut out of the pool Meaning some teams are going to probably have less salary cap because they have this allotted quarterback money, but they're not going to use it. So essentially their, their stuff just gets thrown in the garbage. It's, it's such a stupid proposal. And even if it's, well, that's not how it's going to work, then at the end of the day, you still have the situation where it's an unbelievably unfair advantage for teams that have really good quarterbacks, which is already an unfair advantage to have a really good quarterback. So the whole thing is absolutely stupid.